What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are fly fishing here in uh, Deckers in the beautiful state of Colorado. Um, so first off I'd like to say don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because it helps a lot, means a lot, and it can do a lot. So I just want to let everybody know I do not claim to be good at fly fishing. <laughs> never have, never will but it's all about how you attempt it and get out there and do it and learn from experience. So I did learn a couple things that I was using way too big of flies around here. So we definitely downgraded. As you might be able to see that fly right there. Puny little one right on that knock. But yeah, so we're gonna give it another shot and let's see what we can do. Yo guys, we finally got one. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah, I actually put them on. Sorry, buddy. Things happen. I do not count this as a catch. Pure accident. But hopefully he should be fine. So we're gonna do a release. I mean, I am gonna take a picture because it is a beautiful fish, but yeah. All right, so yesterday, something very, well, let me not say very unfortunate, but something unfortunate happened while I was filming my videos. I did that underwater video of me releasing that, releasing that rainbow trout, and all of a sudden, my GoPro stopped working. And that was the only camera I had with me. So thankfully, GoPro's gonna replace it because it wasn't my fault. I mean, the water leaked in it. So now we're back here today to finish recording. But I did have, I did actually catch one yesterday, besides that one that I accidentally uh, fall hooked. And I wasn't able to record it. So, but you'll see part of the video. But anyways, 
another day, so let's get it. About to be a good day, yo. I can just feel it. I'm not gonna lie though, fly fishing can get very frustrating. I think a lot of it has to do with all the, the tangles you can get. I think that plays a huge key in it, but at the end of the day, it is fun. Finally got one. <laughs> Ooh, that's a beauty. On the San Juan one. I gotta go closer to the shore. Wow, guys. That is a beauty. Definitely get this hook out of them. That is an awesome start. Look at that brown trout. Dude, just a beauty. Ready to get him out of here? <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to let you go. Beautiful brown. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Damn. Snap it. All right, guys. We're on another one. Oh shit, dude, my. It was all tangled up. Damn. Yo, my reel was like this. That's two now I've lost. Damn. This floated down the river. <laughs> I dropped it, of course, right in the strong current.
There we go. Got one. Yeah, if, I mean, I should be able to get them now. <laughs> it's just like he's in this current. It's just the current keeps taking them. I mean, it's not even that big. It's just. Appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I appreciate it, though. Yeah. Appreciate it a lot. It's gonna hit the ice. Do you want a picture? Yeah, if you don't mind, dude. Oh. Let me grab my phone. Put it like that. That's perfect, yeah, dude. Cool. I appreciate it a lot. Just got here. Just got here? Okay. Yeah, honestly, I didn't think there'd be this many people here. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I want to do a quick little video to maybe help out someone that's never fly fished. Got my leader, right? So we're going to start here. I got... I don't even know what it is, but it's a weighted, you know, medium sized nymph. And then about 14 inches, I put this tiny little fly that you can barely see, right? And then I got my weight about, well, I can adjust it, about eight inches from that, that first fly. My strike indicator, I'm just going based off of the depth, so. I just like to go to make sure it's at a 90 dropping and not dragging it. So I'll, I'll make a video some other day on exactly what I'm using. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, I've had a huge problem today trying to land these things. Oh, I had one jump out, but dude, that thing is big. Dude, mine all broke my line. <laughs> I was just like, I, and I didn't know if maybe, you know, that if the line was just that thin that it was terrible. Oh. There. I'm just going to walk them back a little ways. Appreciate you, man. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm just gonna do GoPro footage. Yeah. I don't need the, the actual phone. Oh yeah, man, I appreciate you a lot. Course. I probably would have been <laughs> down the whole river trying to get this one. Yeah. Wow, that is a nice right? one. Wow. It's like hard. I love to make sure he's in the camera. Look at that beast. Alright yo, I got another one. I thought I was recording, but I guess not.
a nice one. Come on, that little fly. This is a beautiful brown trout. You just lay down, G. Oh no, I come on the bigger one. Yo, this is a beautiful brown trout. Damn. All right, everybody, so that about sums it up for the day. Um, definitely by far the most successful day I've had um, fly fishing since I've been in Colorado. Um, I definitely learned a lot of lessons about setting your drag properly, but you know, I'm, I'm new to this, so it's a learning experience, but the wind's starting to pick up and there's no service here, so you know, the wife, she probably thinks I'm probably dead right now, so we gotta get home at a decent time, but we're definitely gonna be coming back here and maybe I'll bring the wife and she can do some recording too. So thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. I will run, run away, I don't have to plan it. I can go, change my fate, you won't understand it. All alone, that's okay, people I can't stand them. They don't want me to change, keep me where I'm standing.